Okay, loans with delayed payments. So this is our next one on financial maths. I mean, it's also known as deferred payments. Please know both of them because they might ask any of them. So the easiest way to explain this is through an example. So Bongi takes out a loan of 100,000 rand to buy a car. The loan agreement stipulates that it has to be repaid by means of 238 equal monthly payments at an interest rate of 18% per annum compounded monthly, starting three months after the loan is granted. So determine Bongi's monthly payments. Now, like, it's very nice that they say, like, she can only start paying three months after, but that doesn't mean the money stays at 100,000. So for this first two months, there's been an interest rate, okay? Which means it's been earning interest like in, that she needs to pay back. So it doesn't mean like she gets the first two months interest free. So uh, we want to know what she like needs to pay over here. Okay. So what we like easy way to remember is what we owe at the beginning, we pay at the end. So if they say starting three months after, so if she needs to start paying over here, we need to know what she needs to repay at the beginning of that month so we need to find out what interest like was gained in these two months so that is our original like compounded formula nothing fancy so over here we substitute in our like our first loan which is a hundred thousand with our interest rate of 18 percent compound uh, per monthly sorry per annum compounded monthly and for two months because it's the first two months that we need to calculate so we end up with this amount over here so this is the amount amount outstanding is a hundred thousand plus the two months interest okay so that is very important that you keep that in mind now we're going to to our present value calculation because it's a loan, it's outstanding. It's present value calculations. So now our present value, remember we still want to know our monthly installments. Okay, so our monthly payments. So now our present value that we owe is this amount here that we got from the 100,000 that we started with plus our two months interest. So we substitute that in. We substitute our months in over here. Please remember like this is like the amount of like payments we need to install while we need to pay. And they said in 238 equal payments. Okay, so we know like how many we need to pay, but we don't know what we need to pay yet. Okay, so again, I want to get my X alone. Here's a divide, what's the opposite of divide? Times, so times on the other side. And I get x alone, here's a time, so it's opposite of times, divide. So I divide on the other side. Now this whole thing I am going to put into my calculator. And then I would see my, well, Bongi's monthly installments would be 1,591 rand comma 35. Now the, like, that would be what she needs to pay back every month. Now they can also ask you with this question, okay, like if this is the monthly installments that she needs to pay for 238 times, like what would be the final value that she pays like back? So remember, we started with 100,000. So we can go and say, well, it is 1,591,35 times how many times we, she needs to repay it, which is 200. 38. So if I put that in my calculator, 5,35 times 238, we would see, well, at the end, she needs to pay back way more than what she initially got the loan for. Okay, so that's a little bit of extra that they can ask, um, like what would be like the final amount that Bongi needs to pay back.